Central Valley, we're uh, really about an hour and a half away from the ocean, about an hour and a half away from the snow. There's a lot of lakes around here. You get into snowboard, wakeboard, scuba dive, hunting and fishing. There's a lot of things to keep you occupied in your off time, and I try and uh, dabble in a little of all of those. We just got a call of a uh, fight in progress. About 20 subjects. We're two blocks away, so we're going to drive around the corner over here and see what we've got. Hooded sweatshirt. Yeah, he's taking off running right now. That's uh, a uh, white hooded sweatshirt. What's up, man? Come here. Hey, come here. Man, I know you. Uh, come here. Pope, what are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? I'm not on probation. Nothing. Put your hands up. You don't have to search me, hey. Pope. Hey. Well, I'm not on. You didn't ask me no questions or nothing, Pope. Put your hands up. I know my right, Pope. Is there a reason that you got to Hey, Pope. Oh, you don't have no reason. Are you done? Are you done? Huh? Get cuffs. Yeah. Mike, I cut up my sweatshirt. Damn, Pope. That's how you get down, bro? Look how you did me, though, bro. Stand up. You gotta have me without no paperwork or nothing. Damn, Pope, like that. Yeah. Hope you know me, cuz. I ain't asked me about no paperwork or nothing. You good for beating up people too, yep. boy. We have a big 148 back behind the house. We were a couple of blocks away when this fight in progress came out right here. So we rolled up on it and uh, people started going different directions. This dude uh, turned around, you know, giving me the back and had his hand in his waistband. So I followed him around the corner here and he was back behind this truck, back and forth a couple of times. Uh, got out to contact him. Uh, tried to detain him, he broke free. Had a little foot chase in the backyard. Got him detained back there, so. Good deal. About it. Well, this area's known for drugs and guns, so yeah. Yeah. that's what he had on him. Good deal. You're okay, though? Not hurt? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Good. So. One to jail. Hey, what's up, Leroy? Hey, dude. We've got history. I know you and you know me. You know I'm doing my job. I just get out. We got a report of a big old fight right there. Yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with me. How I you, roll, listen how to you. How you approached me was wrong. I, but I, when you I roll up. You my name or nothing. You just pulled up and grabbed well, when me. when I rolled up, like you turned away, away from me. How was I going to approach you and talk to me? Grab you kept me walking away. You grabbed me first. It's a difference between coming and asking questions and then harassing people. See how you attack me? You didn't ask me my name, my nothing. You didn't ask for anything. You're not supposed to stop me like that. I'm not 15. Really? I'm 21. You're not supposed to just hop out and grab people like that. I know my oh. rights. You didn't ask me my name. You didn't ask nothing. You just stopped me. You don't work like that. OK, well, it did today, so. See, that's what I'm saying. It's not supposed to work like that. I know you, and you know me. If, you if I know you, and force. you know me, then why do I need to ask you who you are? You're supposed to stop somebody when they're doing something wrong. OK, well, we I rolled up on, on the report of a fight in progress. We rolled up a whole they bunch of people. Fight, well, I didn't you know? say that in the call. And there's one person there acting more suspicious than anybody else, trying to avoid contact with me. Who would you stop if you were me? I don't know. You don't know? But you, I know you grabbed me and used your full force without even asking any questions, and I ain't doing nothing wrong. OK, well, it did today, so you're going to go to jail for resisting arrest, and uh, that'll be that. We can You can talk to the judge about it in court, mm -hmm. OK? Probably 80 degrees outside. Uh, hooded sweatshirt is really not necessary this time of the day. Just making sure there's no narcotics concealed inside this garment.
Looks like we've got some rock cocaine. He had a big wad of money in his pocket, too, so he's just out here slinging dope. OK, do you want to talk to me about the narcotics I found? Hell no, because that ain't no. mine. I don't want to talk Well, about... we've had plenty of prior contacts no, before. No, you didn't. Take me downtown. Well, you're trying to avoid me, and you're in a high narcotics area, and you ran from me, and then uh, we found the narcotics. That was so lonely. That's... Hey, take me downtown. You're going to have to go for that. Just take me downtown. All right. We're going to go take him to the police department, uh, get him processed. We're going to test the or suspected narcotics we found, we'll do a presumptive chemical test on it, and uh, book it in the property room. These are some of the property we found on the uh, subject that we arrested. You see a lot of money, uh, small denominations. This is the uh, small bundle of uh, suspected rock cocaine we're going to test right now. Let's put a small amount in there. You break the vials in there, it reacts with the chemicals in the cocaine, and it changes colors. See what you want is a uh, pink and blue in there. It's a positive test for cocaine. He's going to be charged with possession for sales of rock cocaine and resisting arrest. 